Okay, so this is my CNC converted mill. It originally was uh, a SIG X2. Um, in the US they are sold under the Grizzly um, tooling. Uh, I think they're also called an, an X2 there as well. But uh, originally this is made by C uh, SIG in uh, China. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set our piece of work up in this chuck. Now, I don't have parallels. Uh, I do have some coming. So, what I've got is, um, this is a piece of Teflon actually. It's a block of Teflon that's uh, 19 millimeter thick and it's, I've cut it so it's just under um, 50 millimeter or 2 inches. Um, because I don't want to clamp up onto this, I just want to use this as a level, so, uh, a means of getting the the material level in the chuck. It's going to be level within a few thou. It, you know, it, for this demonstration, it, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so we're just going to place it on the top, making sure this fairly clean. Why I'm using Teflon, actually. Um, it won't expand, it doesn't absorb um, water or the coolant, um, so you can't use wood or anything like that. Not really successful. So um, Teflon is what I had around the place here, so that's what we're going to use. So what do you do in a job like this, and you want sort of fairly high preci precision, uh, you've got to make sure everything's clean because you don't want your material standing on a piece of swarf or something, a bit of dirt, and, um, and it's going to throw the accuracy right out. Okay, so we'll put, position that on there. Do the, do the chuck up. Now we'll get something to put in here to do it up a bit tighter. Also what you need to do is to just settle the material down, although that isn't moving. That just settles the material down and it's all nice and clamped up tight. Incidentally, you use a plastic or a rubber or leather hammer to do that. Don't use a, a metal one, on certainly on aluminium, because you're going to dent it and put it all out of shape. Okay, the next operation I'm doing now is to set the zero point of the program, which is over here on this back corner here. I've got a, a small pointy tool here, which I'm going to use to bring just over here and set the X and Y uh, position only, which is the start of the program. Um, and that will stay throughout the uh, machining of this whole tool. I, I won't have to alter it again. Uh, the only one we will have to alter is the Z height because we'll be using different tools. So I'll just um, put this in position now. And we'll set the zero in Mac 3. As I'm turning this, it's only moving a couple of thousandths of an inch. Very, very accurate. And I know I've got about um, five, five millimeters of material too much. So that's why I'm going slightly over that way. 
XX stock that is. And that's pretty right there, so now I'm going to set the X and Y zero position. And in Mark III it's very simply done just by pressing the X and the Y. First of all we need to get rid of the file that's in there, close G-code. I'm going to put our first cutting tool in now and that is to face off the top of the material and that's a 19 millimeter four flute end mill. Now because this tool has such a large diameter, um, at the moment I'm on the fast speed, so I require more torque for the motor for this because it's only a fairly small motor. So I'm now going to swap the uh, speeds to the lower speed to give me more torque. Of course with this we need coolant as well. So we'll direct the coolant onto the tool. But first we've got to set the zero or the Z height of the tool in relation to the work. The easiest way to do this is to is just move the tool, okay, the cutting part of the tool there, and just bring it down very, very quietly till it just scratches the top of the material. There it is. So that's with plus or minus a thousandth of an inch. So now we set the zero of the Z in Mark III. Okay, so now we're going to load our first G-code file, so it's load G-code. Okay, here it is here. Operation 1, 19 millimeter end mill. Double click, and it's in, and it's already set up. So, I've had to close the door now, so well, you can't see that. Mm. 